All right, so we're going to drop in here. I'm thinking about this B-flat, and I think you know this by now. If I'm thinking about a chord shape, the next thing I think about the next layer is... Where is... My major pentatonic? And then, ooh, can I do some pretty double stop thing? Maybe I can. So that's my, what I drop in there with. You can see that there. There's the chord. That's a, that's a Hendrix double stop. And then the next chord, though, is the F. And I'm seeing this F. Again, that is a C-shaped F in the cage system. I have videos about it. It's really how I navigate everything. Every lick, every triad, every arpeggio, anything that I've ever learned or played one way or another breaks down into that system that there's the shape. So yeah, I'm B flat. The F. And then my brain's like, where's G minor? Just goes to the obvious spot. Here's G minor. There's G minor pentatonic. Just a, yeah. E flat. It's right here. Maybe a little major pentatonic note. Let's check that first line again. Pretty. Again, with stuff like this, I always say like. You know, just take that first little section there and loop that over and over. Like, like play it over and over, like real slow, just real clean. You know, I've said this in other videos, like there's nobody making us play stuff fast and sloppy, but ourselves just like, take it easy, man, <laughs> take it easy. So you can hear every note. Because this instrument doesn't, you know, it doesn't want us to play clean. Those, these little wires are close together. It's really, it's really easy to clunk a note or choke a note. We only get better when we really just give ourselves all the time that we need to play it clean. All right, so the next four bars, I'm up here on this B flat. Caged. Caged. There's an F. So, yeah. And then I do this. You'll see me do this throughout my entire life. This is one of my favorite little double stop things. So, if I'm on a G minor. Again, these are cage shapes. I have classes on it. This is just one that I learned that you can do. The G is up top. You do a little. I love that. It shows up everywhere. I can do it anywhere. Where is it over here? Where is it on this G minor? It's one of my favorite little pet things. And then on the, this is tricky. On the E flat, I'm actually kind of just playing out of B flat still, just because the melody was pretty. And that's a n new thing that I just started doing, doing a bend. And then, uh, literally only started doing that like a month ago. I really like that sound though. You're like, no, it's already up, and then it gets one more. I really, I'm sorry to the, the tabbers who are going to tab that out. I don't know how you would tab that out, but yeah, that 13 goes up while it's held. All right. So that was the E flat lick, B flat, and now I'm at the next four bars. There's my F. Oh. There's the G minor because I'm seeing. So yeah, seven, three, and then the E flat because I'm seeing this. And I 
and just keep going down. Here's a B flat. That's an F in first inversion. Great chord. This is one of those times that if you have a notebook handy, you should write that down. Be like, ooh, that's cool. There's the G minor. Now there's the E flat because these are caged shapes. I love that, that I, I walk down to this F, which is, I'm on that F when that progression comes around, but that's a note in B flat. And then I'm just riding out. Neil Young strum pattern. Again with the thump, thump. Yeah, thump, thump, strum. A thump, thump, strum. A thump, thump, strum. And again, if I don't want to get tangled in those wires, I'll let that pick roll back to be on the back side a little bit so I don't get too much of a... But everybody's hands are different, by the way, depending on the way your, your arms and hands are built. That might not work for you. Any teacher can only tell you what works for them. You know, talk to 10 guitar teachers, they're gonna tell you 10 different things. It's just the way it is. So again, that's a classic progression to know when you're like, what should I do? What should I try some ideas on? What should I, oh no, I'm in a room with other people. Well, theoretically, this is a simple enough and pleasing enough progression that yeah, anybody would like playing along with this. <laughs> 